Hi, I'm joined here by Ida Kildemore and the manager, uh, Fergal Hegarty, who has just left a very happy dressing room, having beaten the Macker and Fergus on a scoreline of 3.17 to 17 points. Uh, Fergal, you must be very pleased with that display. Yeah, we were very pleased. Uh, I thought we played very well. You know, today was a pressurised game for everyone. Everyone know what, knew what the consequences were if you lost, and uh, a lot of good teams down in the bottom four now. Uh, particularly after yesterday, I suppose it was added pressure because of the results yesterday. So we were delighted the way our lads reacted and, and the pressure came on there in the second half. They, they, they really stood up and they didn't buckle. So we'll look at their young team and we're very happy. For them. Yeah, as you said, the, the pressure was on today and you needed to, you really needed to get to get the win. But you knuckled down to it. And you, you seem to have toughened up an awful lot from maybe the first game. You seem to be somewhat a bit flat, which, uh, even though you did put up 23 points in that first game as well. And that was a huge score to put up today. Yeah, well, look, there's a lot of negativity around. Um, I don't really know where it's coming from, a lot of from within. That, uh, like this, people have to remember this team is still very young, a lot of 19 year olds, a lot of eight, there's actually one 18 year old. So, look, we didn't panic during the week because we played very well against Cracklow. We, we ran up 15 points in the first half. and. Uh, it was important to keep the lads positive during the week, and we did that. And um, so, look, we're happy. It's, it's just another. It's just a win. It's a, it's a step along the way. There'll be ups and downs with this team because they're so young, and uh, we're just trying to lead them in the right direction and, and, and get a performance out of them. And today we got it. Yeah, I suppose it up in the stand there we forget that they're so young, and it's good to be reminded that they, a lot of them are just out of under 21 and still under 21 actually. So, um, goals wins matches, and we got we got three goals. Uh, you know, Pe Pe Kelly got that first one, but David Fitzgerald did a lot of work for it. Like, to, yeah, to look, we, 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 we were lucky for another one or two. I suppose the, the, the final pass there didn't stick. David Fitz came through with, with a great move. It came all the way from back to field. So, like we got maybe that one. Pe got. You know, look, it was still a huge free from way out the field, and um, we'll take him when we score him. But uh, I think we, we could have got one or two more. But Jerry Coot was very cool with the last one. Great work by Niall, and I think I don't know who else was involved in it, but. Uh, Great pass and Jerry finished it. it was a cool, a cool finish. Absolutely, and, and really put the game to bed. Uh, Dan Cullen had a, had a fine game, and Brian, Brian Frude had a fine game as well. Every, everybody did really. Just hard to pick out anyone. And, and um, uh, Niall Arthur, Jerry Arthur, as we have a loss, haven't having gone out. Uh, yeah, absolutely. He was last. He got three points in play the last day. But look at Darren Cullen, and, and just out of minor, nineteen-year-old. He was a really huge shift in. He got up and down the field. And, Midfield, and then we, when we rejigged it there, when the pressure came on, he went centre forward and he was coming deep for the ball, and he was immense. I thought, you know, as you look at Aidan McCarthy, he's only 18, David Meskell, 19, um, they were great, you know. So it's a learning curve for all these guys. As I said there'll be ups and downs, and uh, it's not going to happen overnight, but today is a good learning curve for them. Yeah, it's a, a, a great day, and, and you know, to get over the market because the market are a big, strong team, and you show it that you, you, you're able to, st to, yeah. to, to, to stand up to that. Yeah, look, we were doing the warm up down the back there towards Aldi, and uh, they were using one half of the small pitch, and we were in the other half, and they're, they're a fair, fairly formidable looking uh, physical team, but you know, we were delighted our lads stood, stood up to them today in a wet, wet conditions that could suit a team right, like that. So, look, but, as I said, yeah. Relief, delighted, but it's only one step along the way. Yeah, but you're getting into the mix now, and that's the main thing. That's then. it. Look, at, we're in the we're in the right mix, yeah. not the mixer, because it, that's where it would have been. <laughs> exactly, and, uh, it could have been. Yeah, and uh, that mixer wouldn't be a nice place to be. But um, yeah. so look at, uh, we just hope we can build on this and see where we go. Yeah, it's, happy yeah. team going back to Ireland on Tuesday night, and a happy manager. <laughs> Very hard to keep me happy, Nicholas. But uh, <laughs> no, look, at, we we, yeah. we weren't overly down during the week because we felt, you know, for 20 minutes we played really well. The last day, as I said, ran up, good score. Uh, Crackler series team, they showed it again last night, and uh, they've won between football and hurling. They've won six or seven senior championships, so yeah. that was a big ask for us, particularly the first day. You know, that's right. Yeah, you yeah. meet these teams down the road, and you build momentum. It's probably a bit more attainable, but. We're, yeah. we're, we're moving in the right direction trying to choose the night and we'll see how it goes there. exactly it's yeah. great credit shoot to the team Fergal great credit shoot to yourself and yeah. uh, we, we won't be as negative this, uh, this weekend anyway no, no, no problem thanks, thanks, thanks okay. very Cheers. much thanks, thanks. Okay. thanks.